Okay, we're going to be doing an ed puzzle on the benchmark most missed questions. So it's very important that we learn from our mistakes. And these are the eight questions that I saw most students got wrong on the benchmark that we just took last week. Okay, one of the questions was, what is the slope of PV? Question number nine. Triangle PSV is shown on the coordinate grid. The coordinates of each vertical of the triangle are integers. What is the slope? If you remember, slope is our rise over run. Okay. So we need to basically get to from P to V. Well, our rise, well, it doesn't rise, it drops, but it goes down negative one, two, three, four over our run. Well, from here, I need to move one more. So one to the right. So negative four over one. We have to divide negative four divided by one equals to negative four. That is your slope. Good. Second question, triangle ABC was transferred to create triangle ABC with the little line. So this is our new and this is the original or old. Okay, which rule best describes this transformation? So if you, as you can see, our x-axis stayed the same. X is one, x is still one for it, right? So from x, y, our x stayed the same. So we don't have to move x anywhere, comma. Now our y, it moved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down seven. So y minus seven. What is our correct response? Letter F. Okay, make sure that you know when it just slides down. It, it's a change in Y. When it slides to the sides, it's a change in X. Okay, Mr. Jenkins deposited 1250 into an account. He made no additional deposits or withdrawals. He earned 4.25 annual simple interest on the money in the account. What was the balance, keyword balance, in dollars and cents in Mr. Jenkins' account after the end of four years? Now, one thing you need to look for when doing simple or compound interest, do they want to know just the interest or do they want to know the balance of the account, which is principal plus interest? Since they want the balance, they want the principal plus the interest. You must remember simple interest formula, it's only giving you the simple interest. So that's why we're going to do our principal amount is 1250 times our rate. Remember the rate, we need to move it twice back to make it a decimal, 0 0.0425 times time. Well, it says four years. So we're going to plug these numbers into your calculator. You go to calculate, 1250 times 0 0.0425 times four. You should have gotten 212 point five this is our interest but remember that is interest only because they want the balance on the account you earned interest and you had a principal balance of 200 1250 so we have to add those together to get your final answer of 1462.5 this is the money that is in the account because it's principal plus the amount of interest earned. Number 28, which function can be used to find why the number of gallons of fuel remaining in the tank of the semi-truck after it has traveled X miles? Okay, the best way to do this is to get your X, Y coordinates. Two of them that pass on the grid, this one passed on the grid and this one passed on the grid. That is why I labeled those zero, 240, 300, 210. That means now I have two coordinates that I'm going to plug into your table in the calculator. So you go to list and spreadsheets. 
you plug in your X, you plug in the Y, and then you're going to plug in the, the numbers that we come up with here, the table. Once you have that, you go to Home, Data and Statistics, label your X, label your Y axis, menu, four, six, one, and it says negative 0.1x plus 240. Negative 0.1x plus 240. Okay, so we know it's not F and H, so it's between G and H. Well, which one gives me 0.1? Is it one sixth or one tenth? Well, if you divide one divided by six, it'll give you 0 0.166. And one tenth is 0.10. So our correct answer was letter J. Okay, 31. I am gonna read the question and then we go back. Which measurement is closest to the volume of the cylinder? So I copy down the formula for volume of a cylinder. B equals capital B H. Capital B is the area of the base. So the height of a cylinder is five centimeters. So we have our height to be five. The circumference of the base of the cylinder is 16 pi. Well, if you remember, circumference is pi times diameter, right? So that's, they're basically telling us that 16 is our diameter. But on the formula, we need radius. So 3.4, I'm going to write pi because we have it in our calculator. Volume equals pi times radius. Well, if diameter is 16, our radius is 8. So we're going to plug this into our calculator. Calculate pi times 8 squared times 5, 1,005.3. This is our correct response. We got one, two, three questions left, guys. Okay. What is the length of a diagonal of this frame? Any times you guys read diagonals, let me put in shapes. Diagonals are usually Pythagorean theorem. So they want the length of the diagonal. This is the diagonal. Okay, so the length of it is 15, the width is eight. What is the length of the diagonal? Eight squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. We're gonna plug in this to our calculator. Menu three, one to put our in our numerical solve eight squared plus 15 squared equals c squared comma c and our answer or response gives us 17 c equals 17 that is the length of the diagonal Okay, make sure you grid it in correctly, 17.0 or just 17 on the side of the decimal. Whenever we're talking which set of ordered pairs represents y as a function of x, what they're referring to is which one does our x not repeat. So you're literally going to look at just the first numbers because uh, for it to be a function, x does not repeat. Okay, so x does not repeat. I see negative one, negative one, x repeats. Let's go to the second one. Zero, one, two, three, three. I see three and three. Wrong. Zero, 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 it keeps repeating. Oh, let's go to the last one. Zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Function. X cannot repeat. That's all you're looking for on those data points. 
And the final question. Gabriel makes 2,500 into two savings account. He deposited 2,500 into each. One of them earns simple interest, one of them earns compound interest. Okay, which one, what is the sum of the balance of account one and two at the end of three years? Sum of the balances. So we need to get the answer for one, the answer for the other one, and add them up. Okay, so the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna find simple interest, 2,500 times the rate, 0 0.04 times the time, three years. And then remember, that'll be our interest only. And then we're going to add that to 2,500. Like we did on the previous question. So 2,500 times 0 0.04 times 3 gives us $300. So we add the 300 and the 2,500 to get 2,800. That's how much money is in the simple interest account. The compound interest, guess what? We just literally need to solve the formula and it already added it for us. Principal is 2,500. Our rate is one plus the rate of 0 0.04 and the time is three years. So plug this formula into your calculator, 2,500, open parentheses, one plus 0 0.04, close parentheses, to the exponent of three. Our response is 2,812.16. How's it going, sir? So we have to add up our responses. 2,800 plus 2,812.16. And we get 5,612. 16. This is the end of our most missed questions review.